Hi okay, everyone. Hi there and welcome to an introduction video of our new Manta Diagnostic LCD board. Okay, this is the latest design of our Diagnostic LCD board. Um, basically, it's now using a lot more SMD components, so that makes the back of end of it fairly flat um, to make it adding it or mounting it onto something a lot, lot easier. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to devise some sort of easy mount for it to go onto a, a fixture to attach next to your radio. But this is how it'll come at the time for the time being. Okay, one of the most striking new features is we've added on this big old antenna there because uh, it is part of the Remora wireless system. Now, if you've got one of the older style, uh, you know, oh, I haven't got this flash antenna, well, basically that flash antenna is mostly just for show. I mean, if you've got the coiled antenna, guess what? That's all the flash antenna holder is, just a holder for your coil antenna, okay? So, um, my little tricks of the trade there. Um, so, basically, you're not missing out if you've got the older style coil antenna at all, or even the, the longer whip antenna. So, we have our um, antenna here. We also have a jumper. Now, this jumper allows us to sort from either direct wire connection to our Mako, now, it might be a bit hard for you to see, but if you can see in there three dots there, that's the pin for your direct cable connection to your Mako. You can just slide a um, servo connecting cable up into there, and that will connect directly to your Mako. Uh, if you go by that route, you must remove your jumper. Okay, um, To go into wireless mode, pop that jumper back on, Okay, and it'll operate in wireless mode. Okay, whoops. Now, the only other thing to really point out, well, actually, there's two other things. Um, we have two buttons here. This is the A button, the one closest to the middle, and your B button, the one closest to the edge. Okay, now, um, I'm going to run through uh, how to change the channel on your um, remor uh, Manta and your Remora system, and to do that, we use our buttons there. The only other thing I need to show you, really, is our contrast adjustment for our LCD. Now, eh, here is a little bit of a, a furphy, a bit of a mistake that I have made. Oh, yes, I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, this uh, pot, I'd actually rather it facing around the other way. Um, unfortunately, it faces this way, so you need to get a long, thin screwdriver and go down through there to adjust the uh, contrast on your LCD. It's not that much of a, of a deal. Once you have it set, it's pretty much set and forget. Okay, so that's basically, oh, except, and then you've got your power input here. Now, from memory, uh, this pin here is positive. That pin in the center is negative. Let me just check that out. That's the pin, yes. So, as you can see, red positive, black negative, and it'll fit in like so. Okay. So, there are your connections for your Manta board. Now, let's, let's power it up. Okay, LCD, Mato 2, Mako 2, blah, 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 blah. now it should go into the Remora mode because we have that jumper connected and it'll come up, Remora Connect, waiting on channel 50. Now if you have a number of systems, you obviously can't have them all operating on one channel. So how do you go about changing the channel? Okay, um, well... It's not that difficult. Um, this is the, the way we do it. Okay, now, what we need to do, we'll unplug it for a start. As with anything, accessing any modes, you've got to usually do it as you turn the unit on. So, as you turn the unit on, or just after you turn the unit on, you press the A and B buttons, these two buttons here, simultaneously. Okay, and once you do that, it'll enter into the changing channel mode. Okay, so, again, I really hate them things where they say as soon as you you know have that button pressed as you connect the power and you always end up going trying to get the power in while you're holding the button down but with this you as soon as you apply the power you can go ahead and press those buttons and it'll do the same so you don't have to do any um, magical tricks with your fingers okay so power on press the button straight away and it goes into change channel mode. So your current channel is channel 50. And of course, we've only got two buttons, so it's pretty obvious we'll have an up and down button. Okay, so to go up, you press the B button. 
Okay, you can go and you can hold it down and it'll automatically whiz up. Or if you want to go back down, press the A button this side and down will go. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so let's set it on say channel 40. There we go. Once you've got your channel set, it's a simple matter of pressing both two buttons again simultaneously and to lock it in on channel 40. So let's do that. RX channel 40. It reboots and it'll come up Remora Connect waiting on channel 40. Okay, so you've changed this channel to channel 40. Okay, so that's the first step in the process. I pause the video here while I grab on grab a Remora and we'll look at how we transfer this setting to our Remora.